Today we are going to create this very simple scene inside of Unreal Engine 5.6. This will be a very simple tutorial for all the beginners. So let's get started. So currently we are in Unreal Engine 5.6 uh, recently released version and trust me this looks perfect. They have changed the user interface and by the way if you want a dedicated video on new updates on 5.6 please comment 5.6 on the comment section. All right, so this is the scene we're trying to create. So first of all, go to file a new level. I'm creating an empty level and press create. So here I'm going to recreate the file. And first of all, we are not using any environment light and mixer and all. So what are you going to do? Simply click this quick option and go to light. And I'm going to use a call skylight. Right after selecting the skylight, you need to save the project file. So I'm just pressing save current level as and here I'm just making a new name called tutorial and press save it and right after save what I'm going to do uh, in this skylight I'm going to import one HDRI so simply change the source type to SSL specific cube map and from here you can definitely find your own default HDRI map which comes inside of Unreal Engine by default so for now I'm using this sunset ambient cube map and once I select this I'm just change the intensity to 1.2 and now I'm going to import one volumetric fog, which is called exponential height and fog. And going down, I'm just turned on this volumetric fog option. That's it. So if you notice, suddenly we just got a very low level of fog inside of its scene. All right. So after that, we are going to import our models. So I have this models, which I have imported right from Sketchfab. So this is a photogrammetry model, scan models, in fact. So you will get all this in my description box below in my project file. So please go and download the project file. It's already available on Gumroad. So first thing first, we are going to import our main model. So simply drag and drop into the scene. And this is a photo scan, just see here. And this looks something like this. So if you are struggling with the lighting and also for the mesh, you can simply change it into unlit so that you can see it completely without any lag. You can use the scene easily. So as of now, our main target will be the camera should here. It's go inside and then go outside. Okay. So first thing we are going to add the grounds also. So I have few grounds simply drag and drop the ground here. So let's get bust this. So just move it down, place it here slightly up so that it will blend with the ground and by holding alt I am just rotating it a little bit so that it will blend properly so let's add the camera first so for this shot let's make the camera something here click this perspective option and create camera and create cine camera actor so the camera will directly snap in this exact viewport so if you notice this is my camera view so just lock this camera view so that every time the camera will here now let's change the digital camera to dslr universal zoom to let's say 30 mm and now i'm going to change the camera positions right from this uh, transformation option so first thing first we are going to move the camera a little inside something like this and then it will go back okay so initial position should be like this and now just move the camera a little bit upwards and that's it now we are placing the main character inside of this room so just drag and drop the character over here and let's make it a little bigger now as you can see with the lighting this scene looks pretty much good now let's add the lights inside of the scene to make it more real so to do that first of all let's animate the camera so that in every frames we can see how exactly it will look like so for that going here add a new level sequence and i'm just making it two and enter it and just drag and drop the camera over here and i'm just increasing the frame rate to 250 so that it will automatically increase the frame rate and just drag the cine line just like this and now simply select the camera and uh, make a keyframe on first frame and going the last frame i'm just changing the camera positions all right till here also a little bit more and just down the camera angles slightly down to the ground level slightly up and this is perfect and after that just add a new keyframes drag those two keyframes right click and make it to linear so as you can see this is my very basic camera animations which looks perfect for this kind of scene now if you notice right now in the render we have a lot of things inside of our scene like a smoke like a fire and all all these things i added in a post which i am going to show you also in this same video so now what i'm going to do i am adding the lights inside of this scene so just jump back to the camera and after here 
I'm going to add a normal point light. So go to point light and we have this. No, first of all, I'm going to add one point light inside of this room. So if you notice, I'm going to place this inside of this room. So just press F on your keyboard to snap it and uh, change the camera speed to a little low so that you can control it easily. So this is the inside of this room and just decrease the shape somewhere here. Move it a little upwards so that the light will hit from this uh, character from the top. So just push it a little up, increase the radius to soften up and increase the intensity to let's say 15. So now as you can see, the lights it's hitting right from the top. Also, if you increase the source radius, it will give the little soft shadow on this character. Also, I'm going to just move the character light a little bit in the back so that it will give some highlight on this character. And now just change the light color to little yellowish so that it will match with our scene. So I'll add more lights, but uh, currently I'm going to add few lights on the outside. So I'm just pressing Alt and just duplicate and let's see how it will look like on the outside. So here I'm going to place two lights to eliminate the entire area so just increase the radius to add the more light and just push it little here and by holding alt and duplicate you can also make another light for this area as well now one two lights also for the outside environment to eliminate the entire area because as you all know you have no lights in entire area so just alt and duplicate so everything which you can see right now is all the point light setup but as you can see, we have enabled the exponential height and fog. So what I'm going to do, just going down, I'm just increasing the extraction scale to give some more fog in this scene. So if you notice, we have a lot of fog right now in the scene. So if I turn this off and on, you can exactly see what are the changes here. I'm going to change the unlit mode to lit. And if you notice, this is the fog density right now in my scene. So now I'm going to add one rec light. So just go to light and uh, this is called rec light. And this light will eliminate a little bit light from the top like this. So I'm just increasing the shape slightly and going up, I'm increasing the source width. So now this will give a little bit a different light setup in a different color. So I'm just changing it to blue. So it will give some bluish tint in your scene so if i'll increase the intensity to let's say 50 you can exactly see how exactly it will highlight so now let's place this light exactly where i'm going to use this so this will gives you a little bit bluish purple tint in your scene and make sure this scene should not look more light because this is a night light scene so it will always become a little dark so after that what i'm going to do i'm going to use one uh, option called post process volume so this will control the entire thing. So just add a post process volume and here you can type infinite and just turn this on. So it will affect on the entire scene. And now I'm just to turn on the bloom effect. So this will give a really good glow effect in your scene. Going down, you can find called exposure. So just turn this on and turn this on to and change it to one by one. So now you have locked the exposure. So what I'm going to do, I'm just increasing the exposure to so it will gives exactly same output right over there and if you want you can control right from here everything like uh, chromatic aberration if you want you can definitely give a chromatic aberration so it will give a little cinematic tone but for this scene we don't need that so just turn this off and also going down you can find called lens flare and all so if you have a specific lens flare, you can definitely use it but what you can do you can do some uh, very basic level of color grading over here. So just in global, just turn on the saturations and increase it to two. So it will give some uh, really warm tone. So this little high. So let's make it to 1.5. So now you can see the temperature looks pretty good. And in the contrast section also, you can uh, make some uh, little bit of, you know, cinematic color grading. So just like this. And that's it. No need to do anything right over here. You need to do everything in post. So now let me show you how exactly it will look like in the camera view. So just jump into the camera view and this is what I'm going to show you. Okay, so now let's see the render setup. So first go to here and delete the JPEG and add anti-aliasing. And if you don't want any motion blur, use only spectacle sample count. But if you want a motion blur, then don't use spectacle sample count, only use a temporal sample count. And after that, just simply turn this on and warm render frames. 
click here you can use exr and simultaneously png as well but for this scene i'm using only the png but if you want to do better color grading in davinci resolve then definitely use exr sequence so i'm just making it png and after that use a high resolution and then you can definitely use this game override option and make accept and over here you can definitely go to this output properties and change your resolution also and just change it to 30 fps because we just animated into 30 fps press accept but you can save this entire setup here so i'm already done this so you can just click here to save this uh, always so once you open your unreal engine just simply click it and it will automatically change everything in a previous version which i have rendered so right after that you just need to press this render local button so it will start rendering now what i did in post let me show you so let's jump into adobe after effects so as you can see this is the final render which i have composited in adobe after effects so let me show you in each and every layers which i did so just turn this on off so obviously this is the layer like final render so final render looks very flat as you can see this is very very flat so first thing what i did i did the camera tracking uh, like after effects basic camera tracking 3d camera track so this i got after the camera track the very basic camera dots and after this i added a glow in the scene as you can see and a hue and saturations to a little bit warm tone giving in the scene and just turn on the camera and then i added few things in the foreground so i added one far elements and all the project files in the description box below so this is the fire element and i added one more fire element in this area as well and then i added some atmospheric fog if you notice this will add atmospheric fog and i add one uh, huge atmospheric fog scene i copied this scene and this will give a little depth in the scene and right after that i added two layers for the particles and uh, this will also gives a very good depth for this scene but last but not the least which list which i uh, gave in the scene which is called grain so once i added the grain if you notice the entire scene got changed so if i zoom in a specific area this is the grain so without grain this looks very soft and this is the grain so grain is very important once you do any night shot it will give the entire final output and then i just added one color grading layer which i have uh, used from a lut file so this will be the color grading file after adding and last but not the least my cinema scope so yes that's it in the post and once you do all the stuffs uh, maybe your output looks something like this so i hope you really enjoyed this today's video if yes then definitely subscribe to our channel world of vfx project file link is in description box below go and download and use it see you in my next video till then keep watching keep rocking